So we're going to set up some basic materials here, uh, but uh, first off, I want to turn off these lights uh, because uh, they're kind of getting in the way. Uh, so for that, I just need to hide uh, their main parent. And now let's work on the materials. So we have, first of all, this ground material. And uh, I think we don't have anything yet for these here, for the top things. So what I'm going to do is just, let me first isolate this, isolate the ceiling. Then shift D to duplicate it like that. And uh, I think I can hit P to separate this. I uh, want to create others fine. So then where is it? Yes. It's here. So I think we can uh, First turn off the solidify modifier. I can insert this or just add a loop here and then bevel that. Then invert invert the selection to delete those faces. We are creating this uh, kind of ceiling, whatever is hanging on the ceiling there. So it should be under this like that. And uh, I think what we can do is, uh, let me see, what can we do here? To create these ins, I think I can select those lines. And uh, to select all those uh, lines there, you can just select one and then Control Alt and then Shift. Shift click to select that. Then I will bevel this just like that and uh, go to face mode, invert selection, delete uh, the rest of the faces. Then I'll just push them up like that. I think instead of using a sol I can apply the solidify modifier, but I give it a bit of thickness, thickness for it. So something I think up we'll just go up a bit like that apply and uh, then I can add a loop here bevel that loop I just need to select the out outside part think I need to offset my array a bit uh, so that this can uh, touch or instead I can just select this here and push that up and it's also offsetting my and I think I also need offset this array just a bit okay maybe push this let me see am I using I'm still using the empty here I don't think I need that I actually need it this then I think uh, we don't need uh, these I think we do need them but uh, I can just select this edge loop the entire and how it go, goes around okay I'm not sure why I can't select Get this, push it down. 
make sure you don't have proportional editing turned on and extrude it just a bit like this also going to be part of the ceiling but i think it's a bit uh, too wide as too wide so i'm just going to reduce it just a bit so i can select this inside loop uh, push it in using by uh by selecting by pressing g twice then i can push it down just a bit so this is where those uh, kind of sticks are going to be hanging so i can push it down just a bit like that okay and uh, what we can do I think I can also add a loop here and uh, give this a different material So if I go to the materials, our ceiling is going to be a bit dark. Uh, so, and then uh, this here should be a light emitter, but I don't think every face here should be. Let me just, I'll just see. So let's call this lights. And uh, it will like that and I need to break out uh, to break uh, those lights up a bit so just go in and start selecting few vertices uh, okay, I, need, I wanted to hide uh, these first so that that before that and uh, give it a different material like this so that we can break up that uh, those lights just a bit so this part here I'm not sure if I see where the camera is I need to fix that so let me find the camera okay it's around if I side uh, this wall here So yeah, we just need to play around with the offset again uh, to get them to match again. Okay. Now, what else should we? Uh, yeah. So let's look at uh, how to make this carpet. I'm just going to find a quick, do a quick Google search for a carpet here. Carpet texture. That's something tailable. And hopefully something free. Can we find multiple images that we can mix? 
uh, together. I like this button here. So we'll see what we can do with it here. And so let's save. Uh, this we can use as a bump map for those textures. I'll just throw this under my textures folder. Let me set up that carpet. So find the textures. So let's see what we can do with this. Okay, so let me bring in the texture. Where did I upload? Where did I do this? Okay. We have this. Uh, this is not UV unwrapped, so I don't even need to UV unwrap it. I'm just going to add to use box mapping. Uh, with uh, this should be set to box. Box texture coordinate mapping. Uh, the scale is a bit too high, so I'll just scale these down a bit. Yeah, something like that. Hopefully the patterns can be visible there. I think that's still too high. Okay, about there. Now I'm just going to change other materials just a bit. Uh, let me first add some bumps to this. Uh, if I use the other texture we downloaded, uh, this here, for the bumps. So just drag it. Dump it in here. So this is going to drive uh, the bumps. So let's add it to that. And now we can drive, we can have it also set to object box mapping. And uh, let's preview uh, this for a second. It's a bit, the scale is a bit too high as well. I think that's not too bad connect this to the normal and I uh, think this should also drive our roughness and uh, then this our base color and, uh, it doesn't look bad let's see Try and color data. Actually, I like the sRGB here. And that control the roughness, I'll just add a math node here so that I 
can control how rough that is. And I think I also want the bumps to kind of stand out a bit. I also add a car ramp here. I don't a clamp, but a, a car ramp. Convert car ramp. Now if you look at this here, we don't have enough contrast to drive up the bumps a bit. But I think that's too much. So let's dump it down. You know what, I'm okay with this here. Maybe the roughness is a bit much, so the shiny parts are a bit too much, so our ceiling should not have that carpet, uh, but uh, let's see what this has. Our, our ceiling is going to have a concrete a ceiling, so let me find some concrete textures here. Concrete texture. I think it was it might also be the text that we use for the walls, so Uh, this we can just give them these rails we can give them a metallic a material i think i need to increase the thickness of this rail so I'll give it a metallic rail Change the roughness. <coughs> Maybe paint it a little bit. Actually, no. Ah, for the handles, I don't know, we can give them the same material. Ah, for these bars here. I don't know, maybe we can give them the same material as well. Just go to the bevel here, turn on hard in normals, and then out of mode. <coughs> okay, this should be, ah, there is a shadow there, so. I used to have some good textures, free textures, but uh, um, I had this crushed and uh, most of my project, I lost most of my projects and uh, things like that. <coughs> See. Uh, actually, this is going into 20 minutes, so I'll just end here and I'll start in the next part.